Well, join me now from Beijing is Thomas Gell. He's the president of Anvil Luck International Capital Corporation and environmental advisor to former U.S. President Bill Clinton. Uh, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. So let's start uh, right there with that heat wave I just talked about, you know, the most severe to hit China in six decades, causing many rivers and parts uh, to the all-important Yangtze to dry up. How is the easy is it for the river levels to recover? You know, it's very, very difficult because we had the Yangtze was at historic lows, 17 meters lower than the records go from 1865. So it, it because that's the mother river and supplies so much of China, it's very critical. To have enough rainfall to be able to regenerate it is very difficult. Mm -hmm. um, as you said, you know, we're doing some of the, you know, drilling and, and taking groundwater to supplement into that. But, you know, that is a, um, um, you know, I'm not sure that's a net gain proposition because we need the groundwater as well for our long-term survival for drinking water. Right. And Thomas, when we you know, think about droughts, agriculture is one of the biggest impacts that comes to mind. How have farmers there coped and how badly have crops been affected around the country? You know, it's been very, very difficult for the farmers, not only in China, in the United States and around the world. So we have a definite food crisis, you know, going on. And so that um, is it, hard to mitigate because, again, the farmers are trying to conserve the water as much as possible, um, irrigate their fields where they can. But there's just not sufficient water to give them the yields that they expect. So, I mean, it looks like we'll probably be down 10 percent or more on our agricultural yield. And then that goes into the livestock as well. Hogs are going to be down about 14% this year uh, because you can't generate the feed that they need uh, to survive as well. So it's a, it, it's a multi-tier problem. Mm, quite challenging indeed. And hydropower was also uh, severely affected. I mean, we saw rolling blackouts, long lines to charge electric vehicles as a result, uh, even in areas far away from the drought because they rely on hydroelectricity. Is there anything that can be done to mitigate the impact of future droughts? You know, I think that, you know, climate change obviously is one of the big factors on it. So we need to, I'm glad people are finally waking up to acknowledge it. Um, you know, if we can control that, then we can help to restore the balance in the environment to get back to, you know, normal, normal cycles. But until we do that, I'm afraid it's going to continue to get worse and worse. Worse and worse, and you bring up climate change with that ever urgent. Do you see prolonged droughts like this becoming even more common in the future, not just in China but around the world? I think, I think, unfortunately, and and unfortunately, we'll have the um, the bad weather going throughout. I mean, we had in Pakistan a third of the country is underwater. Obviously, that creates its own issue with too much water. Uh, the United States and China have too little water in a lot of their agricultural areas. And so those are huge issues for our food security and, you know, the amount that we need to really, you know, be the breadbaskets for the world.